Yo, what's up guys? Before this video starts, I just want to give a huge shout out to Dot Tech Domain for sponsoring the channel. Go ahead and go to www.get.tech to register your own Dot Tech Domain for only $2.99. A really good price. So go ahead and do that after the video. Yo, what's up guys? Toby here back with another video. And today we are going to be taking a look at 10 awesome apps that you can download for free to your Android phone. The Google Play Store links to all of these applications will be down below in the description. Also, please do let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more videos like this. So let's get started. The first app is called Screener. It's basically an application that you can use to put your screenshots on a picture of the phone that you're using. And me, myself, I use this application when I want to share my home screen on social media. It just looks a lot better than just uploading the screenshot itself. So the next application is a great free screen recorder called a set. It's very simple to use and it's also very customizable. For example, you can change the resolution, the frame rates, the bit rates, and even more. You can also do things like time lapses, recording audio from your microphone, and face cam. The app has everything that you need. The next application is called Cam Scanner and is great for people who doesn't have access to a scanner but still has to scan a document. It's very easy to use and works great. And uh, that's that. So the fourth app is called Tappet and is a wallpaper application, but it's not the usual one. Tappet actually generates a material designed wallpaper right on your phone. Basically, your own very unique wallpapers. The app can also automatically generate new wallpapers in the background and change them automatically. So that's pretty damn awesome. So the fifth app is a launcher called ASAP. It's a great launcher for people who want to be more productive, save time, and have a super clean phone. The UI is a little bit different than other launchers, so let me explain. Uh, just swipe left to get to your contacts, uh, swipe left again to get to the weather, and then swipe right to get to your calendar, swipe again to get to your to-do list. Alright, cool, but where is the app jar? Just swipe left from the edge of your display and there it is. Your most used applications will be on your home screen. This launcher is definitely not for everyone, but if you do like the UI, download it. It's great. So the next app is from Google themselves and it's a great way to get some quick Google Play Store credits. So how does this work? Well, it's very simple. The app will send you a notification. Just click it and answer maybe two or three questions and boom, you just got a dollar or two added to your Google Play credits. Very simple and very awesome. So the next app is also from Google and is called Chrome Remote Desktop. It's a very cool app that I use daily. It lets you control your PC from anywhere in the world. It's smooth, responsive, and does not take up too much bandwidth. So yeah, it's pretty damn cool. So the next app is called Mr. Phone, and it's a simple app that you can use to compare phone specifications. Just type in the two phones that you want to compare, and then you will be greeted by a really good and simple looking comparison. So the next app is more geared towards the enthusiasts rather than the normal users. It's called Ampere and shows you how fast you are currently charging your phone. It also tells you voltage, temperatures, and more. So the final app on this list is called App Lock and is super useful. The app basically lets you set a lock on the apps that you choose. You can then use a pattern, pin, or even your fingerprint to unlock the app. It's simple, yet really useful. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of App Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.